Um, um, oh, in the end, it doesn't really matter. It's one thing. I don't know why, guys. Bitcoin overdose here. Your daily dose of crypto. I overdose to you guys. Don't have to. Definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin overdose on Twitter. Your daily dose of crypto. Buy that dip. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. And definitely, this is not any financial advice whatsoever, but buy Bitcoin and chill. Go over to my YouTube page, guys. Hit that follow right down below or that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell right next to that to stay up to date on the latest and greatest crypto pumps and dumps and other news related to the Bitcoin space fam. Now, what are we going to be talking about today? We're going to be talking about Arn. A-R-N, it is Aaron, Aaron, I don't know if I'm saying that, like A-A-Ron, bro, I don't, I don't know, man, it's A-E-Ron, so I, I have no idea, Arn slash Bitcoin, because we're going to be taking a look at that, compared to Bitcoin, it popped pretty big today, and we're going to be taking a look at the stable coin itself, Bitcoin, the king, and also a little bit on market cap, guys. Bitcoin dominance went up a little bit more. I know a lot of people say not to use that metric, but I like to look at it just because I, it, it fascinates me how much of the market cap is Bitcoin really going to take in the future. And, you know, I kind of always wanted to see that. So, you know, always, always looking, guys, always looking. But anyways, so let's start out with Bitcoin overdose. The only reason why you are here again, go down and hit that subscribe button, guys. 200 followers or 210, I think we're up to. And at 250, I'm looking at doing a HOT hot giveaway. Probably draw names from my hat on a live stream or something. We got we got to come up with something. But anyways, guys, not like it's going to be that much anyway. But uh, you know what? 6,600. We're chilling, guys. We've been in the same range the whole time. Uh, previous prediction was to touch the top of this range and then probably come back down. So I would not be surprised to see a... 50 60 dollar drop but you know to all those paying attention in this space we are getting so tight guys we are getting so tight look at the end of this range is only 30 dollars so you know the tighter we're pulling this together the bigger the pump or bigger the dump it's really going to be now i'm unfortunately leaning bullish i don't like to do that it does go against all my instincts but um you know taking a look at previous price action 11.7 was a double top we came down and we really found out like where we are going to keep regressing from and we've we've done it four or five times i don't know how much either side can really hold guys 5800 is still the bottom or still like our uh you know our support that we're really watching and it looks like lower highs are forming on this daily candle area so this is going to break and this is going to be very very volatile and bitcoin's been so unvolatile lately and you know what guys we might all be wrong on this and we might just eternally trade this for the rest of the year i i predicted it as a joke at the beginning of the year but after we hit 5800 to about 6500 I figured we were just going to be endlessly trading dojis the whole way. And it looks like it's almost kind of happening, you know, minus a few odd outliers out here at the tops. But, I mean, the bottom was in, guys. The bottom has been in since the sell-off from 20K. And a lot of people just seem to forget that, that we've only came down to as low as we've gotten. And if you look at previous Bitcoin dumps, Almost the same thing kind of happened. The the first time, like it hit. Well, I'm just gonna go with 1,200 because it this happened below 30 dollars as well. No, uh, what was it? 30 cents down to two cents was pretty nuts. Uh, I remember the. I think it was a hundred and well, I think it's almost on this chart. I think it was almost 250 and then it came back down to like 10 or 13 dollars or something. So we've seen it time and time again, but. Um, Bitcoin like hit 1200 came all the way down to a local bottom at 106 and we we hit 180 I think and that was the bottom of the 2013 2014 market crash um, oh my god did I just move my guys I just moved my support line by accident got to move that back can't be doing that anyway so you know if, if we count the, the 1200 drop down to 190 we would have seen like 20,000 down to 5,800 with like, a, you know, 
pretty or 5,900, a little bit lower maybe we got, but just the fact that somebody has been keeping this up, guys, Chad Whale, Bull Whale, whatever you want to call him, he has been saving the day on Bitcoin for a long time now, and it's really nice to see that. So yeah, again, I can talk all day about Bitcoin's past, but it will not dictate the future at all. Carp like mark <laughs> market cap, carpet cap, I was going to say, or, or carpet map. Guys, we could start mapping carpets here. That's fine too. But Bitcoin is, you know, 0% moving today pretty much. Bitcoin, of course, guys, always selecting Bitcoin price up here. You know, big winners, guys. Digix or Digitex, Digitex. Digitist, Jesus, just not talking today. Digitex futures up 13%. Digix Dow, guys, is one of those cryptocurrencies backed by gold. Always kind of interesting to watch. I mean, I never really have bought it, but uh, I know it was doing pretty well during the beginning of the first crash, and then it kind of fell apart shortly after. Electronium's still up here. Tron is still up here. Uh, Theta token, I like. Again, Zilliqua, guys awesome fucking project i've been chilling that ever since day one i bought it at like 520 sold it at like 1900 um, i'm thinking about repositioning that pretty soon here but we'll see what happens uh as for everything else guys just a couple percent down not much moving today um hollow chain took a little bit of a hit but seven percent i mean i think it moves like one or two sats and it fucking it's like 15 percent moves but that's only because it's really, really uh, quote unquote cheap. But again, looking at the market cap versus the amount in there, you never really know. Uh, Bitcoin dominance, though, again, my favorite, one of my favorite metrics. I don't think you should chart it ever. And I, I think it's kind of a psyop, but, you know, above 50 percent right now. A lot of money is still in the market, guys. Uh, Ripple is finally coming back down from Ethereum. We saw it touch Ethereum's market cap a couple different times. And finally, it looks like it is retracing. Uh, that is one of those coins that I've been keeping my eye on for a long time. I don't necessarily like the project. I don't like the people behind it. But if there's money to be made, guys, ADA is still not moving. Cardano has actually dropped one down from Tether over the last couple of days. And, you know, it, it's one of those silent, like, it's not doing anything, guys. This is usually when something happens. But I guess we'll really see what happens here in the coming days. Same thing with Bitcoin, guys. I think a lot of uh, market makers are waiting for Bitcoin. And I would be doing the same thing if I were like, you know, you guys trading as well. Uh, I know like if Bitcoin goes down, we're going to see a lot of dumping coming up, coming up for these altcoins. And all right. So what? We got a huge pump on this one. First of all, 3,400 up to almost 10,000 guys there are 103,000 wait <laughs> yeah oh man 10,300 so you know that's a 4x give or take and wow or 3x give or take and um wow yeah that's all I gotta say today it popped 50% and would I be buying here no fucking way guys this is definitely I mean I think the project is uh airline miles i could be wrong i had it pulled up somewhere around here it's like crypto bonus miles though that's that's all i remember reading but yeah if you look here like obviously it just got really tight on the weekly candles it looks like it was gonna pop and it did and it popped directly up to that one week moving average which is kind of what a lot of these have been doing the seven week moving average is it or the 25 week moving average so you know that's been a common occurrence so i think it was just time to pop somebody pushed it up a lot of buy orders came in and now it'll probably do one more leg up but would i be buying here no fucking way obviously uh news driven not really not really news driven at all crypto token holders for crypto bonus miles or some shit like that but you know nothing that we actually want to buy into i have no idea if this is like an active twitter i never checked but you know what is this coin i have no idea but they did release their roadmap yesterday so you know we can kind of see where they're headed, uh, 2018, 2019, and they are right on schedule, guys. They have an API public launch soon. Data hub for ATC, data automated processing development. Um, you know, Salesforce is in 2019. I would be waiting for like the end of 2019 if you were gonna buy into this, but 
you know, this they don't really have it too mapped out, which obviously you can't because you can't plan for everything, but it's always nice. Anyways, guys, that's that's about all I got for the market today, actually. I might maybe go live here at 7 o'clock. I'll see what you guys want. But, uh, you know, comment down below any coin you want me to check out. Uh, a lot of it recently, guys, I think I might just switch my whole entire channel to this. But I'll probably just, like, do Bitcoin analysis at the beginning like I always do. And it's always macro, definitely. And then we can take a look at, you know, whatever's pumping that day or dumping immensely that day. Whatever's going to get the clicks, you know what I'm saying, dogs. Anyways, you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, definitely go buy that dip and follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. Your daily dose of crypto. Buy that dip. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. Not any financial advice has been given, but buy Bitcoin and chill. Go down below. Hit that subscribe button right down and then do that notification bell as well to stay up to date on the latest and greatest crypto pumps and dumps and other news in the crypto space. Guys, Bitcoin Overdose. Signing off, and you guys have a great rest of your night.